they don't work in my book. Entertainer and an athlete, another little piece of shit in your book. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever ask yourself a question, black folk with trillions of dollars, how come their children don't play no sport? It's a violation of the youth. Mm. Okay. They got the money, they can get sports doctor. That's a that's a number trash with the children. Me and you going to apply right now for job collection garbage. We get it. We have to bring out our tax return. But Trump don't have to bring it in. And y'all won't tell you taxes because you're a bunch of scared motherfuckers. Mm. Worrying about going to jail. You're already in jail. Facts. Mm. Facts. Mm. 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 You're an ignorant motherfucker to run this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And y'all won't even see this shit. Motherfucker yeah. asked me 10 years ago. Let's talk about black crime. Let's talk about what makes me a criminal. Exactly. Mm. The only deal that I go to Russia every year, there ain't nobody in jail for white folks. Mm. <laughs> right. Uh, the mosque would have to shoot up people with judges. They'll make a five series move and make them hero. Yeah, it works. Then the one that stole it all is, is Marlon Brando. He gave. You understand? Know the mob killed their bones if they gave. That's right. That's how this, that's how this thing is messed up. And then it, it, it make you think you know something you don't. You talk about homosexuality when the universe was put together, it wasn't no men, it was women called them off, but that God, they impregnated themselves. And then somewhere y'all fucked up and created us, that's why we hate you. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I called my wife one day and I said, baby, look, I, this white boy done messed me up so bad. I just want to tell you I'm sorry for the times I raped you. She said, why do you? I said, I just found out just because you my wife. And you say you know what it means? No. The prostitute sell her pussy. She said she ain't going to sell you no, you can't take it. You know? So she said, well, how many times do you apologize? Well, not all of them, because sometimes you were liking this shit. We're going that route. <laughs> <laughs> so you look and then you see. But the training, the universe gives it to you. If I'm your husband, we got two daughters, and this is my brother. That's and your daughter, six brother. years old, tell you that. Daddy's brother plays with me. What happens to your face? It's distorted. And she thinks she did something wrong. Mm-hmm. And she'll never tell you nothing else again. Mm-hmm. See, you're talking to a child. You got to be careful. You don't let them get around hot pots and all that. But out of the ignorance of the universe. Let's go look at the pier. There's a fucking pyramid right there. The, so the cracker wouldn't let you know he, he makes like he built. There's a fucking pyramid right there. All you do is look in the mirror. <laughs> you know, the crackers go all the way to Egypt. Thousands of dollars sleep under the pyramid. They do sleep on your back. You're under the pyramid. You know, y'all are so busy talking, talking, talking. You don't know shit. Mm. Now the biggest thing niggas is talking about now. Some motherfucker come up and said, the, the earth is flat. That's the biggest conversation. Right. What did we do with me? Exactly. Just go with me. We're getting the mics together. We're getting the mics together. Like what size I think it is? Just give me some pussy, bitch. I don't want to talk about what size it is. It didn't look like talking about what, the, what is good pussy, baby. Neil just got some good pussy. She ain't up there, husband, for the niggas didn't make the pussy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> they got to believe you got to go to Harvard and that's it. And so if you look up, the greatest, the greatest revolution in the world. Do I did it? Do I did it? In, in, uh, in South Carolina? It's uh, so bad. Yeah, I know. It's, it's still on. And they caught him. They brought to the church and killed 16. It was 17. They killed 16 and passed the law. Stayed 50 years in a black church in Charleston. They couldn't have a service unless it was a minimum of two white men at the service. All right. And the other one who got away, you don't hear about what's, what's, what's the big college here? Name, name three black colleges. Georgia uh, State. No, black colleges, black colleges. Morehouse, Spelman, Clark, uh, Clark Atlanta. And she had to get blocked. The one. Morris that, Brown? Yeah, he's the one that snitched. Mm-hmm. He's the one that snitched the name of college yet, and y'all don't even know it. Wow. The biggest black high uh, education in the world is high.
Howard, named after a gentleman, Howard, who killed Indian children. Then you take the biggest black woman's institution in Spelman, that's named after Rockefeller's mother. You mean ain't one black motherfucking woman on the planet worthy of that name? Y'all ain't nothing but a piece of shit, dude. That's why you ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do that. Police coming in, so you niggas get out there, I'll kill you off. Nah, you motherfucker gonna swear you ain't gonna run. I know they gonna kill me. Y'all in a motherfucking illusion. Kill me, motherfucker. What the fuck is this about? Mm. And after you leave me, my mama was still like, go kill that bitch. First one called me a monkey was my mom. Wow. Wow. You understand? Know you know what I'm saying? We say good about white folks. If a black woman had a child as ugly as Trump, you wouldn't have never took that motherfucker out of the basement. Uh-uh. Don't go to the city, now the biggest thing niggas is talking about now, some motherfucker come up and said, the, the earth is flat. That's the biggest conversation. What right. they gonna do with that? Exactly. Yo, what that nigga gonna do with that? We getting the mics together. We getting the mics together. Right, the mics together. Right, the mics together. Give me some pussy, bitch. I don't want to talk about what size it is. It didn't want to talk about what, the, what is good pussy, baby. Mildred got some good pussy. She and her fifth husband for the niggas didn't think to put it. But they got to believe you got to move a hog and that's it. And so if you look up the greatest, the greatest revolution in the world, do you want that? Do you want that? In South Carolina? It's somebody else. Yeah, I know. It's still on. They caught it. They caught it. And killed 16, it was 17, they killed 16 and passed the law. Stayed 50 years <laughs> in Charleston, they couldn't have a service unless it was a minimum of two white men at the service. Wow. And the other one who got away, you don't hear about what's, what's, what's the big comments here. Name, name the three black comments. Uh, George, the, the, no, black comments is Morehouse, Spellman, Clark. Um, Clark Atlanta. And so Morris, it was Morris, Morris Brown. The one, Morris Brown? Yeah, he's the one that snitched. Mm-hmm. He's the one that sent the name of college after y'all don't even know him. Uh, the biggest black high educator in the world is Howard, named after the general Howard who killed the Indian children. Mm-hmm. He takes the biggest black woman's institution, a spell that's named after Rockefeller's mother. You mean ain't one black motherfucking woman on the planet worthy of that name? Y'all ain't nothing but a piece of shit in that 20 year old tonight. He's coming in, so you niggas get out there, I'll kill you off. Ah, you motherfucker gonna swear you ain't gonna run. I know they gonna kill me. Y'all in a motherfucker delusion. Kill me, motherfucker. What the fuck is this about? Mm-hmm. And after you leave me, if my mama was still like, go kill that bitch. First one called me a monkey was my mama. Wow. You understand? You know what I'm saying? We say good about white folks. If a black woman had you wouldn't have never took that motherfucker out of the basement. Uh-uh. Don't go to the a black woman shop with a ugly child. Don't say you don't have no. Lie, boy. They'll be bad. They'll be activated. Yo, Sean, this ain't going back. I know, man. I got to go back to my car. Nah, nah, nah. I'm sorry. Let's get it right. I need a West Lane. It's a court bus. Don't say computer. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, other than that, that's so cute. So here, you got your computer punch up. And one day, y'all need to do a show on me. Come on, man. Come on, son. Yeah, one day, y'all need to do a show on me. Push it, mixing them pallets up. Pull up. Listen. Pull up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the ones who born in black neighborhoods, 90% of them end up being killed because you niggas don't think children should talk that way. Mm. Mm. So you send them to the doctor, you put them on the retina. I got a 11 year old grandson with $31,000 a day. So I see his picture on the buses. Took his own ass off. I said, nigga, is that you? Yep. I said, I'm going to come in. I said, where well, you get the money? So I'm five years old. I hack my daddy to account. I said, you find that nigga, I don't know nothing. I said, yeah, I'll give it back two years ago. That's what this shit's about. Indigo children, they go to planets every night while you motherfuckers asleep. You see what I'm saying? The universal God said, fuck y'all. I sent y'all here to change shit and y'all joined it, so I got a new group coming. 
Then you look at them motherfuckers saying they're gonna battle, they go out there broke in two years, they're billionaires. So they right, right. You, you get it, yeah? Yeah, I got it. Do read you it, so read it? I don't have to read it, just read it. Read it loud, so it uh, According to a pseudoscientific New Age concept, our children who are believed to possess special, unusual, and That's sometimes it. supernatural traits or abilities. They're sometimes also referred to as crystal children or star children. The idea is based on concepts developed in the 70s by Nancy Ann Tapp and further developed by Jan Tober and Lee Carroll. The concept of indigo children gained popular interest with the publication of a series of books in the late 90s and the release of several films in the following decade. A variety of books, conferences, and... so you ever read What was yeah. the picture you had on yours? For that picture. That, that, that picture with the, with the, the person who looked like flames. Oh, Just oh, not sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, uh, think about this. See that bitch there? Right. Yeah. They, they tell you that's Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this here. The solar plexus. Solar. The left side of your heart. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Doctors don't know this. So, heart surgeon be cutting people open and see that light and die. That's you. That's us. Mm -hmm. The solar system. Solar ain't no way you can explain that. Except you are the solar system. I didn't know. I used to say when I was five years old to my friend, man, if we could get outside this planet and look down, we'd see us. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Facts. I said, we got 32 teeth. One of the last from coming is wisdom teeth, so the brain must be cut 32 ways. And one day they'll find a way to program grade through high school and college in two seconds. Mm -hmm. You're doing that now. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> And they say, so and so is smart. Like, what do you mean smart? And so this is this is the whole game. Right there. Look at that, man. It's a hell of a hmm? Yes it is. You look at it, we so fuck up, look like a man. Look at that face. Right. So this is what this is what it's about. And it's too late now. What Trump and them is doing it's the world is what Trump is doing in media years old. They've been chasing this thing since 1930. Okay. The big thing up there, fix that. Tear this motherfucker up. You hear me? You hear me? We track it every day. But one of the last time I got a picture of it, it's this size. I'm trying to get a picture today, it's the size of a grain of sand. They don't know what motherfucker is. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> I <laughs> went to the conference in front of the I said, yeah, I'll talk that shit if you want to. I'm over money, over coffee, over fuck. You waited too long. Mm. God. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. See, God ain't got nothing to do with religion. God means power. That's what they call it, mom, you got it. And no Christian complaints. Mike's too. If you take us, they'll get to If you take a Iliad, fair enough. Now, NBC gave him an hour. To do a violin. Remember that? Well, very kind in this man, nine years old. Most of the day, like to practice. 16 hours a day. When do he practice? And they can't get free time. Right, right, right. Girl, right. right. yeah. see, I already lost you, Mohammed. You're not a corner. You see, right, right. You're on the mark. You're on the mark. So you sound more like a Muslim than a Muslim. How you know? I see you on TV. So let me tell you something, Chad. Anytime you see me on TV, I've got one philosophy. What make white folks mad, make niggas glad. I'm just trying to make niggas happy. That's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to Not just it. glad, but happy. Me. Just happy. That's right, that's right. <laughs> you know? So, but he, oh, around there, man. If you study him, they can talk, mm -hmm. but he would rent all the white network stations. This is back in the 20s and 30s, right? and sat and do his show. Exactly. <laughs> so, Daddy Grace and them come through. The only being ass niggas had was the preachers. That's right. Daddy Grace, 
Can we just love them, man? If they give them up, they ain't mean close to they made them for me, and I'm not going to be button on the left. Mm. And his lover sitting in front of him, mm. and he started off, and, ah, oh, man, I just can't call his name. Everybody thought he was talking about Jesus, the niggas were sitting there. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 well, he put it out there. Right. And me and Malcolm was here for said, you shit ain't gonna kick in for a thousand years, nigga. All the shit you talk, not, nothing you said got us legislation. A thousand years if a new breed come through and listen to you instead of their mama. Mm-hmm. You the girl, you have a best friend? Yes. And your mom and dad paid the bills to call you roll in, they bought it, the house knows to that, and you got a best friend, the bitch ever who buy cookies. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, I guess I'm like, What's up, sis? Eight years old, my mama pulled my ears. Sean is back. I didn't feel the blessing. I looked around. Sharika, I, I love, love you. Where my mama is again. You better have an army. What you call my cause? You a motherfucking bitch. Oh, you hear that? I hear dad call you that all the time. You ain't never grab, grab mine again and it'd be a fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I go to work with you because you steal shit out of white folks' house. It won't Change be the blessing Right. I'll, 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 I'll bless you shit. You come on base and best night. Uh, you see, I, you don't have to hide yours, although you stole it. <laughs> you know, I'm a better thief than you, man. That's mom. right. I got me a paper route, you know. Mm-hmm. Get up at four in the morning, go get my paper route. All right, so it's official. That's seen right now. You good? Well, I got it in my hand. I know you fucked up when you're looking for your wallet. <laughs> and doctor, my doctor said, you've been fasting for 40 years. So you got the thing. I'm going to the bidet. <laughs> 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 you don't you have think? to be too smart to deal with, with mess. The symbol is a crooked stick with a snake wrapped around it. Real. Why do you need more? Mm-hmm. Why you need more? Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, sometimes if you don't want to check out this doctor, it's cool. But in Italy, you chew any kind can of cancer with bacon sauce. Well, what the fuck told me that? I thought I had that book a long time ago. I said, I said, you can cure anything in you with collard greens, but niggas don't do it because they cook them. You know, so a gorilla animal eats something cooked. How else was you using? Huh? How else was you using? What? Collard greens. How was you using the fish? How you use them now? We just eat them. Well, then, yo, you cook them. Yeah, we cook them. So all you do is don't cook them and eat them. That's a dumb fucking question. The years. Now, how you qualify to talk about the sun? Motherfuckers been studying the sun for thousands of years. Now, you gonna come up with some bullshit? I'm not gonna answer. Mm-hmm. I don't gonna waste my time. I'm gonna waste yours. True. I have respect for me. Fuck you. <laughs> you gonna ask me about the goddamn sun? And you don't know what the oh, fucking this. sun is? Huh? That's the game. It's in you. That's why you call sun. And they spell it S O N so you don't find out what it is. So don't come around here. I spent millions of dollars for research. Three of my staff members been killed. I'm gonna stand in there some bullshit questions for you. Mm. When you don't know a goddamn thing, mm. I'll give you the time. I ain't got no body go you want to go through no white agency get me. I respect that. You don't have to. As long as I respect you, fuck what you saying. Right. right. What is the fucking sun? Huh? Hmm. That's all I'm saying. And that's how you learn. Shut the fuck up, man. If you was with Queen Elizabeth today, you wouldn't be asking that bitch no question. And she have to ask me. I call the White House now or, or, or London. She ain't gonna call back, but I'm gonna get a call back. But as long as niggas walk around looking like you and acting like you, you don't have to respect them. I'll come in here with 20 fucking bodyguards and all that shit. Okay. What's his name? Uh, uh, Oh, he's the one 
kill friends. You motherfuckers don't even have to explain it was on the And all you had to do was look at the goddamn concert he did here. A one man gun, two of them. And that nigga didn't look sick, but they didn't convince you he was. That's, That's right. Shit, That's right. Man. That's right. Okay. I'll give you whatever you want, as much time as you want. That's right. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That fucking chill with it, man. Okay. I know what motherfucking no nonsense motherfuckers know. Okay. And that's all I'm saying. You learn it by shutting up. Right. You feel and listen and know that I am God. And right. when you say that, you say it, you are God. Wow. And that's how you learn your fucking ABCs. All the shit you got came from white folks. Huh? You were born with it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Wow. wow. You don't have to go through no changes to get to talk to me. That's okay. right. And I treat you the same way I treat the MDC. Because they got a trillion dollars worth of shit. They need nothing. That's all I'm saying. I appreciate that. Okay. Where you were, you were born. You know, you could tell them shit alone. You know, you take the blackboard and spell your name. Your name was already there. All you did say for everything. Everything Einstein and all them great black men, you have it. Huh? But niggas been bullshitting you, that's what racism is. Yeah. And I sit around and look at St. Louis while I was born. There wasn't no swimming pools in black neighborhoods, so I didn't know I stood. Mm. So I get 10 children, and I'm scared for them. Mm. So they don't know how to cook. Well, we live in the money I make. So then when you look at the facts and see every summer, 98% of children that there are niggas. Okay? Mm. Why? Because they didn't know how to swim, and if you don't know how to swim, you make them scared of water. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so they sit up the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games ain't nothing but rich white men who send their sons to get their dick off. That's all it is. <laughs> Whoa. That's all the fuck it is. Right. Wow. And so when you stop and think about it, in this town here, fucked up the Olympics so bad, he's the star of the Olympics. People come just to see the, the festivities start. Open it up and under. Then they leave. They come back to see it closed. They didn't have a close at night here. Because this town's so fucked up, you can't get a good deal. There ain't no good restaurants in this fucking town. Me and you and her go to the best restaurant in New York. It costs us a minimum of $30,000. Whoa. Because it ain't about the food, it's about the ritual. Mm -hmm. The fucking ritual. That's all it is. I didn't know I was like you when I was here with if I knew then what I know now, this shit would have been the change. And that's all I'm saying. Old black men come to visit her. A crossing guard. Give me a badge. I made a truck stop. My life changed. Old man sitting in the house for me. Came and said to me, son, I've been watching you. You came out here, you still leave that home. And now you see you can make things happen, you be yelling at the children. What's that? Hmm. You sitting here asking for money for it. I'm the fucking son. You the fucking son. Hmm. Okay? That's they codes they have. Fucking codes they have. Hmm? And so when you start to think about it, you look. I mean, Jesus, I mean, you walking down the street, you walking down the street, you got a wife and a family, and a motherfucker come up here, come to me, I'll make you a book. Can I go home? No, come follow me. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I got a wife and a fucking family. Right. You know, those little trifling motherfuckers just walking in love with me. Come with me, I'll make you a book. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> and that's all this being here. But we so fucked up with a white racist system, we feel like the more questions we are asked, the more tell mouth mouth you ain't shit. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He got enough respect for me to shut up and listen. No motherfucker memorize a dictionary when you can cast in your hand. You know what you just did to your brain? When <laughs> <laughs> every nigga in America had the latest book, Encyclopedia Britannica and all that bullshit, huh? And then white folks sit up and say, want to hide something from a black person, put it on the book. No, here's what you don't know, okay? Black folks for the last 110 years spend a bigger percentage of their money than y'all do. That's what it's about. It's about. It's So when you understand that, what's your birthday? Six, yeah. Huh? June 6th. June 6th. You have a children? 
Det er som miskærligt syv gange, der er navn, fordi de mangler og Jesus blev så langt. Det er som navn, hvis du Not like the fuck of St. Jesus, no problem. Because the Western mentality of your kindness is a witness. This is what wisdom is, man. To go to somebody to get it. Go, to, go take your cab and go to Walmart. Okay. 80% of people are women. 70% of them have never been to school. Mm. Okay. You go in and say, they got 2 million items there. You go in there and say, where's your cast up? Oh, I'm 17 down by now. A doctor who I'm in the doctor, they might go looking for steps for me, got it on. Mm. But this is what this is about. This is what this is about. Elders, what the elders mean? You don't take anything of it. Just because they're old don't mean a nigga know nothing. Pimps mm. get old. Mm. <laughs> okay? The mob get old. Exactly. Honor your mother and father. I scratch it out and say, if they honorable. <laughs> <laughs> so then I got to come here and listen to some shit from you. When I got. Ten billion children. Wow. Huh? And I can listen much shit to them because I don't do no fuck them up. I'm in a different vibration. Wow. Right? You hear me? We all are. Different fucking vibrations. Right. And so then once you see it, but that's where you're all in point. Yes. The pen is mightier than the sword. That's obsolete. With the pen you read the reader. Mm. With the mic you reach the reader and the non-reader. Wow. So, you know how fucking powerful that is. And that's why I'm so cold with a microphone. See how it works? <laughs> okay. So when you stop thinking about nappy hairs because of the fucking sun, we ain't play the children. And this motherfucker teach you to take it off for he told me and brought me over here in his territory. That's what the sun is about. Put some shit on the moon. And we buy it. We're looking at it, the moon is a dark planet, so I didn't pictures come back with shadows. No gravity on the moon, that motherfucker get that dirt and you saw it go up and come back. That ship happened in, in Colorado. It depend on it. some of the bitches had you been slain. Mm. The universal God made me. That's right. So if he owned a dog and a cat who the universal made, you get the same treatment that a fucking slave owner get. You're going to turn when the cat going to pee, when it's going to fuck, when it's going to eat, what the fuck you think you are. And you don't know it. So when you get around, I get around the bank. If this is one of the richest people in the world, I can't talk finance to the motherfucker. You're the number one brain surgeon. I don't qualify to talk to you, but you think you qualify to call this motherfucker that taught you to disrespect yourself. And once you do that, you disrespect everybody. And they keep feeding the shit out of here. Nothing this motherfucker to say. Nothing they have to say at all. Money? Born with money. You born with money. That motherfucker make more money stealing your organ than robbing the back. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. That's all. Mm-hmm. And so where you go, 10 years from now, I don't look and see you at the top of the mountain. You didn't listen. But that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. And I came that way, man. Look at some shit, man. And it comes out my house, man. My fucking house, man. Ignorant mom. Not to Harvard, but to the universe. Hmm? And all you gotta do is shut up. You see a cat turn the corner and there's a dog. And they go straight up. You motherfuckers don't have no sense to do with that with white folks. Hmm. Called shape shifting. That's what an Uncle Tom is. It's a shape shifting. Hmm. Hmm. You've been talking about that. Yeah. You you talk about so that's what, that's what it's about. Dang, the old black man told me I didn't understand. He said, man, y'all think they own everything in our The power is still with life. The Uncle Tom shapes you. And I go to, to Iran and come in, send you a message to leave the country called Iraq is going to attack them. Surprise attack. He said, You're a beautiful Uncle Tom. Now, I know the motherfucker got too much respect for me to call me something that's naked. So then I start looking to see what Uncle Tom is. Tom boys, a tough girl, a Tom cats, a tough cat. When it comes your turn, it gets weak. And you can't see through that then. Because mm. huh? you don't shut up. Mm. Huh? I listen to a motherfucker ask me a question and I know they're full of shit. You can tell from the vibration of it, but fuck you. Mm-hmm. Huh? That's what this is about. 
I'll ask you a question, not to, not to ask questions, because I don't need to ask a question. <laughs> I said, what do you think a prostitute is? Just quickly. A prostitute is someone that exchanges their cell for money. Okay. It sells your talent. If you get paid for this, if you go to work and get paid, you a whore, nigga. Mm. That's what wow. a prostitute is, a motherfucker that sells their talent. The sun is free. The moon is free. The air is free. Mm. Okay? And so if I work for her and she pay me $10, $100 a week, and you the preacher, I go over there and say, I'm going to give you 10%. No, you get 50%, and it comes back 50 times. If I give you 10%, I get $100. That's a job. Mm. If I give you half of it, why do you think these corporations that would kill anybody? The biggest thing they got is the foundations. And as long as I can keep you from not knowing, then I keep you locked in. There ain't no big that we born, no. There's a, this woman here, she's the only one in this room can have a baby. And as powerful as these white countries are, they can't open up her legs and keep their baby up. Mm. Got nuclear bombs, everything, they can't keep their baby. And so they're just looking at her and trying to follow her and keep quiet. What is this about? Then you saw it you know, Child, two days old. You know, somebody talking in this room, and then that child from the other room, you know, can feel good and feel bad. It's a vibration. Right, right. Huh? You can walk down the street and see somebody walking and feel funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm fixing to rob your ass. <laughs> you got a bodyguard? I'm your bodyguard. I got eight child. Oh, this motherfucker just come with nine people. You a dead motherfucker. Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead. Facts. Okay. So the court jester, he the king, you the court jester, you the one got the power. Because whenever he leaves town, you the boss. Right. And his wife hates you. Hmm. Eric, my man. So you look at the, the, the story of, of the Civil War. And here's a great man that they never tell us and we don't think about it. Frederick Douglass was a slave. And he's one of the greatest orators and one of the greatest minds in the history of the planet. So this little man, this little henchman, he laughed and talked to him. So he said, Nigga, you need to take me to see that motherfucker. You scared of him. He said, So he go. And they've left some time. I had so much fun two years ago. Where you been? This nigga gonna keep me from getting here. But uh, I tell you what you need to do. This nigga got you taken. We want your we want your army. We want you to loan us your army. And we'll take care of any quick as long as you give us in two crazy motherfuckers. Mm. Sherman and Grant. Mm. You think you know some bad day? Them niggas mean. Went into Atlanta, burned it to the ground, heated the railroad tracks, and wrapped them around trees. That's why you can't find too many hotels in the South named Sherman Hotel. Okay. You look at a white boy, he lives in Illinois, he likes to land a Lincoln, he drives certain parts, they throw a brick at you. And you don't talk, you listen to Abraham Lincoln's land. Land Lincoln. But you got this picture on the five dollar bills, you don't burn them up, then you know the power of that piece of paper. Yeah. Wow. And then you put it up, and then you start writing, and you reach back into the deep shit, ain't nothing gone. You can't learn nothing talking. Especially when you don't know nothing. I know I was like that. Huh? Motherfucker, I know nothing about being a comic. Niggas would laugh at me and talk about I ain't got no daddy with a little skinny ass. And my man, skis. You got to be a fucking motherfucker for your mother name, you skeezy. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on, did you say skeezy? <laughs> I'm just listening. That's what he said to me. He said, man, you listen to that shit you be saying about you in school. He said, just listen to it. Don't be partial. That's some funny shit, man. So I just come back to school the next day and do the same thing you was doing to me, but I do it first when I got the audience. Yeah, I got so good at it. 
juvenile gang said, see me come, they walk on the other side of the street. This wouldn't give me no pussy. Because <laughs> I'd be talking shit, I didn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm shining shoes when I'm six years old, and the nigga saw it. Yeah, man, I put my dick in the bitch and come out of her mouth. That's how big it is. And I'm talking that shit. You know, <laughs> all that. <laughs> and bitches was scared of me. <laughs> and my wife, she said, well, not the first night. You won't have no respect for it. I ain't talking about that shit. I don't respect you if I don't get the pussy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> keep quiet. You don't want to tell everybody. Oh, future <laughs> facts. <laughs> you know it's going to shut up. But when we so fucked up, you hear some universe trying to talk to you, and your mama didn't talk to us a ghost. I said to my mama, when she was dying, I said, Mama, let me tell you something. So you got a thing to tell me, tell me now, I don't be coming back as no motherfucking spirit. Oh. You would scare the shit out of me. You got anything you want me to say it now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say it now. Wait till I see you later. Right. Yeah. That's what this is about. <clears throat> it's over to you, stop. I grew up, man, not knowing that black men fuck their daughters. I could have a little white man. Until I was a girl on the table. I go by the house and pick up a corner. Daddy attacked me, not physically. So I go pick her up. I say, your daddy crazy. She's so quiet. So I've been trying to tell you, but you won't let me. Mm. Daddy been fucking me since I'm three years old. She goes, you been fucking me so long, I don't like you. She got to work. My damn kids will make you a sweet potato pie. Tastes better than your mother. I don't care what kind of shit he got. So good sweet potato pie. Mm. That's all you have to do is sit. See it, and feel it. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. When you're a little boy, nobody taught you positive. Lip is negative because of positive or negative. Vitamin defense. People got children kiss a kid in the mouth, and kiss wipe it off because you don't put a negative on the negative. The lip is negative. A vagina is negative. A dick is positive. A lip is naked. Dick is positive. But just because she sucked my dick, she's getting something. I'm getting nothing. Sucking her pussy, that's a negative. I'm a negative. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't hear if it says nasty. We say nasty. I'm a little boy. I'm a bitch ass and motherfucker. The same. With that bitch all over time. And then find out you sucking some pussy. And then you come in my house drinking out my glasses and shit. You know, that's the, 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 the bullshit. He's saying. Something I gave you that to create new life. Right. I gave you ear to heal with, not to have fun with. So then, once you see that, then everything falls open. I was saying, oh, goddamn, my feet hurt so goddamn. I never heard an elephant say they motherfucking feet hurt. Why? <laughs> because they don't wear shoes, motherfucker. Mm. And when that bitch take them shoes off, her feet stop hurting, but she never put it together. It's the shoes. Mm. And then niggas got into some shit where they was sucking toes and shit. That was a new thing. <laughs> now we were sucking motherfuckers. <laughs> Put my goddamn mouth. And we was drinking and the motherfuckers talked me into. So I carried the bitch up to the hotel. She pulled her shoes. I said, I don't do no bunion. She ain't put no motherfucking bunion in my mouth. <laughs> so it's that whole, whole river. So then when you look at it, you know, George Washington Carr. Everybody thought he was gay. He'd never been around white folk. Black folks. Till he went to Tuskegee. Right. Yeah. And when slavery was over, I said, we can I didn't know about said we can steal them. And adopt them. Let's make it legal. And adopt them. So George Washington called them. It's out of Missouri. Mm -hmm. So they raided his house by his mother's father and him. And when they got to the house, he was missing, so they were coming at night. So the next day he went down, and they sold him to this family in Iowa. Mm -hmm. You know, black folks in Iowa, they don't make no school system. So he went to school with white folks. And then when he went to Tuskegee, everybody thought he was gay. His high pitch voice, his shyness. And he was running for you to believe that he was gay. 110 years ago, they tell you that they 
transfer you to him when he's seven years old. Mm. Right. See how it go? I said, what you know about you? You don't qualify to talk about that. You don't know nothing about it. It's what they just fucking cracker talk. And it teach you niggas that honky and cracker is a racial slur. Crackers, I worked with them motherfuckers when I was eight years old on the floods in Mississippi. And when you get ready to have a sunstroke, the back of your neck turn red. Mine do too, but I'm too dark for you to see. Mm. And me and my brother were sitting eating lunch at the Red Cross facility where they feed the motherfuckers that's working on the floor. And this one boy fell dead. My brother never ate no more cheese. He thought the cheese did. Yeah. <laughs> she said, she said, he thought the fucking cheese did. Yeah. Redneck nigger hating cracker. Mm. Huh? I knew they tell you it's a racist show. Honky. How the word word honky can be a racial show? Right. See, prostitution is for white men, not black men. I'll get my pussy free, me and you were slaves. Bitch, you didn't have no job, I didn't have no job. We fucked all night. Oh. And then after it was free, then the white boy started buying the pussy. You don't have to rape you now. I don't mm. need no prostitutes. I get the bitch when you find the pussy wet. Huh? And a pocket full of money. Come on in, how? No. Mm -hmm. See how it works? That whole thing. So now the white boy had the whole house 90 miles all the time. That's what they had today, the top brain surgeons in the world. Well, they're going to go get some pussy, but they don't want nobody to see them. So you go 40 miles down the road. That's Richard Parr's mom. Is to hold his hung on it, his own house. And that's a sign of bad. We sitting there poor and we see these doctors from all over the world. Einstein, these motherfuckers come. And then he got so big, it became a shame. That's why they flipped out. Genius. Yeah. So when they bring these white boys down here, so they can buy some pussy from your mama because she will let them fuck your daughter. When they get there, they honk the horn, honk honk, that's the word honky comes from. Shut the fuck up, I want to hear your ignorance shit. But then you got to pay for this shit. Yes, pay for the honky. Wow. So when you sit and see Henry Ford, they didn't invent no car. The Dewey brothers invented the car, and that's the demo motherfuckers stole it. That's why anywhere you go in the world, and hear him talking about Ford, nobody says invented the automobile. Mm -hmm. So he created the system. The production. The plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Production. So before that, he did cars one at a time. He said Ford would give millions of dollars for trustees. It's like research about it. You take this and show it to your engineers. Stuff on the plant. You can do more than one car at a time. That's why mass production is called the fucking plant. All over the world. Okay? And if you create something that makes mass production, it creates mass layoffs. That's how you do it. That's what we call the depression. My mm -hmm. mm -hmm. was committing suicide. George Washington. Jesus, I tried to get him, I couldn't kill with 10 of them. Shut the whole country down. Because they cut my dick off. Mm. And my mother and father said, just be quiet, man, you take care of it. So they get you in the morning to dig a hole that don't need to be dug. And then he comes in the evening, she'll be brother and fill it up. And that's why motherfuckers said that the person had the end. These motherfuckers would have dug a hole all the way to China. And then they're going to tell me about welfare. Mm. You're going to buy into the shit. So that's why you're so bad. Shut up. Mm -hmm. A grandson once. My mom, my, his mother, my wife thought something was wrong with him. But they wouldn't tell me that. So we in the car. Leo sitting in front of me, I'm back home. My daughter is driving her son. Sitting next to me. Granddad. You hear that train? Well, I heard him talking about it for a motherfucker. Is that something like that? 
Somebody needs to call me. I turned the door over 80 miles over the street. I said, where is it? She's about 150 miles from here. That's who these motherfuckers are. Yeah. An hour later, whoop, that plane passed by. I told them the protocol was going to Let's talk. Fuck it. Somebody's in. Y'all sitting here thinking y'all talking about ordinary people for you motherfuckers are. Yeah. Wow. See how it works? So wow. No, so the, whole, the whole game is, is right mm, there. Mm. That's what y'all got. We call it all. But you're so chicken shit and don't know it. When you're off work, you know, the team, we had black farmers and white farmers. And St. Louis had the cheapest and fine shoes any place in the world because them niggas would rehearse on Saturday. And we'd all go over to Candy Park and look at them. But when you're born, you wanted a fire truck for Christmas, not a police car. Way back there, you know, it took so long with this. <laughs> okay. um, so, in this country, battered women, they talk about that, they're talking about between your husband and your wife. Battered women, one out of every four women in America get beat up. Police wives, one out of two. You can't fuck with me in the street and think you can wash that shit off when you get home and you can kill that bitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That's what mm -hmm. it's about. Mm -hmm. You can just shut up. There's sort of shit out here in the ether. Mm -hmm. In the fucking ether. And then you look at shit. I, I looked at the great little Canute Rodney letting the coach in Notre Dame. And he died in the plane. So his wife and the neighbor was hanging clothes up. And the sun went down. And she said, I think something's wrong with it. And then showed the plane. <laughs> and showed her. And then showed the plane crash. I was a grown man before I realized when a plane crashed, the sun didn't go down. Now how you get that ignorant shit out of you? Mm -hmm. It's etched in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what this is about. I told the motherfucker the other day and said, oh, this big motherfucker fixing the ears. I said, what can we do about it? We on the seventh floor. If the wing fell off, motherfucker, what can you do about it? But you <laughs> die with the power. Right. There's a, what do you think all the power? The, the Baptist tunes, the death tunes. Something back here, let me know. This crack ain't going to give me nothing. Right. You got shoes, I got shoes, all got shoes. Like once we get to heaven, you have to die to go to heaven. When I get to heaven, we're going to drink milk and honey. I was a little boy, I knew what this shit meant. I knew a couple of dogs, I bought me some milk, and bought some honey, and mixed it. The shit don't taste good until you put rum in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my ass. I'm sorry, what were you going to say? I'm not. I was, me personally, I was ready to rock one with the show, like, but you was just in your zone. Oh, like, I love you it. You know what I mean? I love what you're saying. I love what you're doing, man, but. I know that Jeff had, we had a couple of questions <coughs> for you as we absorb this knowledge from you. Do this. Here's this what this is about. <clears throat> Want me to get your water, sir? <clears throat> yes, please. <clears throat> this is the number one economist book in the world. There's nothing in here. She's talking about the economy. <clears throat> Here's the cover. Trump and Lipstick on, and Putin would kiss us all over his cheek, and y'all don't know that's a gay thing, because you motherfuckers think you so here. In Europe, the biggest thing going on in Europe today, while you niggas over here scared and talking about it, it's the biggest thing going on in Europe, all over TV. Naked, he behind and fucking him in his ass, and he pregnant. And y'all sit right here hate. with this chicken shit shit that don't know a fucking, there it is, right there. Wow. And y'all scared. And everybody in the world laughing at it. You know, I can understand why. I mean, when you take, you take France, they, they treat trees over there older than this country. Okay? And so that, that's what y'all have. And it's like y'all walking around and say, I didn't know the gun was loaded. You know what I mean? People get shot with a gun because the motherfucker didn't know it was loaded. That's what y'all got, man. That's what y'all got. You got to practice it. You got to study it. And put it in your hand. And every time you see me, I give stuff for other people to read. So you know I ain't tricking y'all. I don't know this motherfucker. Right. Hmm? 
And if it don't have white shit on it, you know, it's, it's the white thing. You know? When Nelson Rockefeller, when you trace their lineage back, you trace them back to the Missouri Cans and Bar. They was flanking Jesse James. And when they killed Jesse, all that bullshit. <laughs> Rob the rich, robbing hood, rob the rich and give it to the poor. I ain't never had a rich motherfucker rob somebody and give me some money. <laughs> that ain't no more fantasy. So then Frank took the money and went east. Changed the name to Rockefeller. Peter James is with Jews. That's why they was robbing trains and banks, because they wouldn't give a Jew the time of the day. So we all sitting around and saying, well, look what the Jews did. The Jews was released from Egypt 9,000 years ago. You ain't been out of slavery 350 years. Go back 9,000 years and check them out when they was out of slavery 350. They acted the same way you acted. Now you're going to sit here and judge a motherfucker that's been free 9,000 years and think you should you can't do shit, motherfucker. How you going to get out your brain? I mean, think about that shit, man. How you gonna get out your money? You can't, especially when you don't know what's there. So this is what this is about. That's why y'all so important. It's so important. When you sit and you look at Dr. King, I was there. I need some cracker to tell me. I was there. 68% of that movement was women. Why? Because the men had to work through the week. They only showed up on the weekend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've never heard King say something off the camera he didn't say on the camera. Mm -hmm. And two people I would never mm -hmm. hang out with. Mm -hmm. Malcolm <clears throat> and Richard Pond. They were too bashful. Humble. And that camera went off. Malcolm became a different person. Yes, sir. No, sir. He said, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. To little children, if you was a child. To white folks. And you turn that camera on. Richard Park. Pitiful, man. I just, the, the head down. That shame. Shame. You know? It's the way you see it. Michael Jackson become one of the greatest dancers. Why? <clears throat> He looked at James Brown's film and looked at it with no hatred, no spite, no envy. And 29 years after watching, he was out doing this dance and he got ready to stop and went into the moon rock. Mm -hmm. Okay? And now my two year old grandchildren can out moon dance him. <laughs> Once you break that bar, then my brain see is broken. Oh, I can do that. Mm -hmm. okay, that's what it is. And so when you sit and you look at it, where we're going, it's too late for y'all just to go and have fun, man. Nobody need you that you just come up and invented a goddamn bus. They got jet planes from the time you get one block, that motherfucker. They got trains under the ground <clears throat> for America. About 50 years now, that train can run from California to New York in 49 minutes. And then they got one who was six years old and I run from New York to Paris in 58. We all sit here in an illusion. It's one of the evilest motherfuckers that ever hear you think you're going to do something. You get your car keys, punch the door open. We can walk from here to California, to back to New York, and punch it in nobody's car door because you work on technology. And y'all think y'all going to do something. Huh? Cut the lights off, man. You ain't got no grocery store at all. So you got some power. You got it. You got it. But you don't know. Get some water here, huh? And bring it over here. It's pause. Coca Cola. You better look at that lawsuit we put in in you. The judge made Coca Cola pay them. Nine hundred million dollars. The Santa is nothing but tap water purified with arsenic and benzene. Hmm? She ain't she ain't calling it. She, she just don't know. Mm -hmm. The fuck I want that shit. For? <laughs> but I'm saying that's what <coughs> it's about. Man, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you stop and think about wow. Egyptian shit. You don't know about Egypt. 
Nothing. So somewhere when we sit and look, it's not a sermon. It's about being quiet. How some a dog bark its ass out the dog and say, Wake up, motherfucker, I just said a fire. You deal with vibrations. You hear something going in, in, in that camera that you know something's wrong. I don't know. Hmm? It's the vibration. Married or date the woman, you walk in, see a look on her face, you know something wrong. She just fell and hurt herself. You think that bitch, which she know about. <laughs> well, that when you try to guess. <laughs> true, <laughs> you true. Can guess I, mean, I say true. Yeah, but you see, also, you motherfuckers think you have to validate. If you're a billionaire, and you're a billionaire, you don't have to validate. I'm pro ignorant motherfuckers think so. I'm going to be validated. Because they make you validate something. Mm. <clears throat> you know? You go and buy some stock in the bus company. And the motherfucker said, you, you didn't have a ticket, was his attitude. Well, I've got to tell you, I was like $10, you have to stop. What's your name? I don't know. See, what I'm buying, and I'm accustomed to buying one share of stock, I paid for it one time. I paid a car note every month. <clears throat> I'm the only one, nigga. That's why you know that some bitch on Fox, you got to get rid of me. Why? Because if we shareholders, we can be sued too. See how it works? Who can be sued to? So we got to just act upon. I can take a most Christian grandmother looking bitch in the world and dress that whole black like a hole and she can star in the movie. And she wants the nicest cleaning, but you don't know how to dress. The universe of God made women and men made queens. The universe of God made men and men made kings. The difference between a woman and a queen and a man and a king is the way you wrap the gift. So I said, oh, baby, I love you. I took a lunch break, and I'll bring her 50 gifts back. I went by Target and got it. And on the way back, I stopped by Neiman Marcus and you put these tags in there. And then I go across the street to say, and would you wrap these? He said, oh, he loves me. If you don't know how to give his wrap, you don't know about them. That's, that's what it's about. Nothing more. So the power y'all can have or what you got. And then you have to have respect for the motherfucking niggas that you take it to and sell it to. Because their money comes from white folks. You niggas over here bold and talking all that shit. You couldn't get it. Radio one, TV one. Where you gonna run this shit where you got your audience? Where you gonna run it? Talk all that old bold shit, don't nobody know it, but y'all should tell about. Preaching to the choir. You hear that all you know, you don't know what it means. There's something about the choir people. Hurricane tornado. Them motherfuckers be in church on time. Everybody else ain't there. It's a rhythm. When the preacher comes out, you got to hit that rhythm. When you get that rhythm, then you take it all home. I can't do it home, ain't nobody there. So I let the choir sing and talk to them till the room fills up. That's what preaching to the choir means. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got to have somebody to talk to keep my rhythm up. And the niggas is coming in. I nod my head. They bring that song to me in. And then I go. The vibration. The vibration. Listen to them preachers. It's a vibration, motherfucker. And then grandma get up, man, and her knee done stopped hurting. <laughs> You niggas be sitting out there talking about the preaching, and you can't make nothing stop. Mm -hmm. And then you got to go get a sandwich on your way to this bad job. Okay. So all the ones where you see it, and know ah, oh, it's got to look at a tree. Got them three thousand years old. You might not make 30, 40. Thanks. Let me watch this one. Oh, tree. Mm -hmm. huh? You create other trees, and they don't have to fuck. Go real hell, he never raped another motherfucker. But there's something about work that run your ass crazy. Because mm -hmm. you're not supposed to work. Mm -hmm. My mom and dad, them motherfuckers made the moon, the stars, the sun. I'm going to come work for your chicken shit ass motherfucker. Not on your mind. But it keeps telling me. So I look around. 
So you want to make some money? Rest. My mother couldn't come to her graduation because she thought that she was, was too money and she didn't want to embarrass me. Huh? That's the time when 90% of black men were these graduated. She foresee that because she didn't want to embarrass me. And y'all don't know that shit. Huh? Know it at all. And the closer you can come to see it, you see that movie, most of you motherfuckers ain't even seen it. Hidden figures. That's it. And oh, yeah. stuff like this shit. Folks out here in the movement. The rhythm changed. There was a time they'd have made a movie like that. All three of them would have been yellow, big legs, big titties. And going partying every night with the cobra. Them bitches went to work and went back home. You didn't see them eating, you didn't see them drinking, you didn't see them partying. You missed that. Hmm? It's walking down the hall, scooting because she got to pee, man. I cry every time I think about what them women had to do. Run! Because they got to pee. She's on the other side of the bed. In the world, I can see. It wasn't evil. Me, I want to see your mean as you write a book and let give a fuck about your life. That's what's called talking. You got to put all this shit in. You want to write a good book and have it so? Just talk about you, you was being paid by the diocese to fuck the nuns. <laughs> Niggas that can't even read. Yeah, everybody read gonna read it <laughs> The book sold like no other book in the history of the world. Harry Beecher Stone. So if you go into the and the king said, wow, you put the money, did you make that on news or whatever? King and I, Uncle Tom's cap. And the biggest hit on Broadway and in the world three years ago was the Book of Mormon. That's Uncle Tom's cat. You mm. motherfuckers sit here and tell your Lord, God damn thing. Most of you ain't never seen or read the book. Hmm? No. Tom saw the fuck thing. So you sit and you look at me. Jim. First time in the history of America, nigga had a name. First thing, he was always Kachi Pee's nigga. So so nigga. His wife always so clever, she must give him the name. Oh, nigga, Jim. Nigga had a first name. You motherfuckers don't know that. You know how to cook chickens and all that. Who gave a fuck? So this is what this spark. You know, it's not the chicken. Explodes. Oh. Yeah. You know when she stepped on it? Snoop Dogg used to play with it. So it become butterflies. It became a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel nasty. Mm -hmm. Ain't no man ever gave it to his girl and said, I love you. Ain't no man ever gave it to a man. Phew. So get out there and go do that shit and that torment and find a tree and hook yourself on and that cocoon break and out come this beautiful motherfucking you and you don't even know it. Did they show you some shit about the dinosaur? You ever question that shit? The fucking dinosaur has been gone 3,000 years. You show me they fight. They never get no pussy, they never see them eat. Huh? Fighting. Next to this mountain and the mountain smaller than them. What they didn't tell me. When the dinosaur was here, the butterfly was here. When the dinosaur was here, the turtle was here. They gone. So it's still here. And you don't even know. Because mm. it's crap they didn't tell you. Mm. And right now if we sit with this is a book called Chaos. It's about the butterfly syndrome. And in that book, they tell you it's the park in Peking, the butterfly park. 
butterflies over there right now flapping their wings to tell me what the weather pattern going to be like nine months later in New York. That's her. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know she's a bitch and got some good pussy. Put the crack. Ham on it. And you go get your ham sandwich, you motherfucker. Mm. And if you look at it, it's just like Ramadan's mood. That's who they are, man. That's who they are. Allah, Allah, and they come in with a battalion and gun all you motherfuckers down. Mm. Motherfuckers go to touch the wall and shit. You two and three hundred people die every hour. Stampede and all that shit. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? This is a game. And so as you sit and you look at it, if you're scared, you can't have it. She's the greatest brain surgeon in the world. She's scared to cut my head off. Let me, let me go out and get this old hole. Let me drink some wine and shit. And then cut me, bitch. Mm -hmm. And when you take it, I throw the shit away. <laughs> and we get to, we fuck some more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And they got this guy in the Philippines. Called Jones, I think. Psychic surgeon. One day y'all had some time to sit up. Psychic surgeon takes his hand, do the x-ray, and shows up, and then he opens your head up and takes the shit out and put it back on. This was out here. Not what white folks tell you does out here. That's right. That's where this thing is moving. And so consequently, you know, when you stop and think and see where the piece is going to, and this is all the shit they do now. Just to throw you off. Yeah. That's all. That's simple. So you'd, uh, I go to the park sometimes just to, on Sundays. You, you ever pass by the park? See them white folks out there early Sunday? What they choose? Huh? Park all, any what kind of way. Get it, Jerry! <laughs> Love their children but hate everybody else. <laughs> but you have to see it. That's why you can't catch it. My oldest, my baby son, cut his children out there. This motherfucker so good. He hit the ball and ran the wrong way. <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. I'll get it there. My wife scared the shit on me one day. I went out there because I left my keys. And I got to go to the airport. Then I get out there here. Just get it, Melvin. Oh shit, baby, you all up in this year? <laughs> Damn. <sighs> so this is what learning is not. You talk to teach and mm -hmm. listen to learn. Wow. So I can't go to Harvard or Howard trying to learn and I'm talking. Yeah. Give me a test about what? Get scared of this math book. You can have children. This motherfucker can't make another book. What the fuck you scared of? How you gonna be scared of a book when you eat shit, breathe, and climb mountains and shit? And this book can't do another one of them. Give me that book. Let's take it by house. Let's fucking let me burn. Put that motherfucker and roast it. Well, you always custom come trying to shock the shit out you. Okay. <laughs> I can't get it out. Sounding like your mama. Go to the Baptist church, man, and listen to that. Um, it's that rhythm that heals you. See, them niggas run all over the church. I said, damn, I thought that motherfucker come in when his foot was missing. <laughs> it ain't nothing. <laughs> He'll be driving and see something. I'm driving <laughs> in the full moon that's in front of me. And I'm just looking. At and 20 minutes later, the motherfucker's on the side, and right. I ain't turned. Right, 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 right. Now, I don't want to discuss that shit on the highway by myself. I don't want to wait till I get back to the ghetto where my boys are. Right. And then again, the motherfucker's behind me. I said, hold on, ghetto, hurry up, let me get the fuck in there. What the fuck is this? I know I ain't turned. Right. <laughs> so I get there, and I, oh, nigga, you crazy. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Has that happened to you? Have you found the mole on the opposite side? Help, you know help. you ain't turned. We can do this all day long. But I gotta tell you, these folks want their room back. Yeah, they do, yeah. But before we go, 
because you've been a member of the Young Man's Perspective magazine, mm -hmm. come on to our show several times. We want to yeah. say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank we you. appreciate you. We Mr. definitely Dick. appreciate your Young oh, Man's Perspective. Greg. I appreciate you, <laughs> Mr. Greg. Welcome to Ellie Ave. See the you army don't mean nothing fight. if you ain't got somebody you can tell fight. Yes, the arm is for fighting. That's when you get a new weapon, you got to use it. True. Facts. You understand? Facts. That's what that's about. Mm -hmm. and so I cannot tell you. We got a new weapon. How you better use this. Pardon. You are. Yes, sir. You don't even know. But then people will start coming to you. And the Russians came to off me a radio show on a Thursday. A half a billion people mm -hmm. every hour that day. Wow. First show let's talk about black history. So all of us, this motherfucker thing, he know more about how to black history. And I say, fuck it, you keep it. Mm -hmm. In Russia, hmm? y'all bring them Africans back and put them in the universe of your mama because you don't want them around them white bitches. Mm -hmm. And they found one fool there because he dated a white bitch. And you gonna tell me? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You know what put in that ignorance. Think about it, I can understand what happened to Lionel was after high school. Everybody out when you don't see him no more. No more. Hmm? <laughs> I go to the grocery store and never see the Albano shopping. Yep. All right, yeah. all right. Every once in a blue moon. You ain't never heard a woman say, Albano rape me, they'd be easy to catch him. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> see if y'all had a convention. If they bring in motherfucking intelligence agency to watch out and then send a nigga in, in the room. Mm -hmm. They got him four watches. And all you gotta do is be there six hours and don't talk. They think that nigga's lying when you say he didn't talk. They got lying. You say nothing <laughs> at all. You heard of the shit we've been taking. You heard that shit, you. You mean these niggas didn't talk? It's always stunts. Mm. Stunts, that's all. Mm. No more. No less. That's so when you look at it. God. It's my mother and father. And I had to go to church to get a message from God. You must be a double crosser. How you saying? You mean you gotta tell me a nigga I ain't never met? You give them a message for me? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> tell me I'm supposed to forgive and then tell me when I die if I fuck up, you gonna burn me? My mm. dick and mama couldn't burn me. Mm. She don't even like to cook food, she cook food rare. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, what the fuck am I talking to? Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. So when you just put it in, mm -hmm. and then you realize God didn't say that. True. Right. The white book took it. Mm -hmm. Made it is. First thing you had Christian Bible, slaves, obey your master. That's right. You don't need to be smart. Huh? No. When I started eating in the same room my mama was in, she didn't know that. Mm. You need to be motherfucking slaves for obey your motherfucking master. Mm. Mm. Now, how do you figure that up? You don't have to answer. You don't have to answer that. How you could be. create something to heal me, but now you have to have the transfer system. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. You know, so this is not going to cure cancer with bacon soda, but he got it was injected. Yeah. Yeah. And so you sit and you look at Then the sister comes up and sits to the side and says, Fuck you, I don't need that. All you got to come here, poop and smile. <laughs> <laughs> he can stop crying. That's what a smile can do. Hmm? And the one song I sing all the time. Uh-oh. It's just humming and singing. And you start feeling it, see? Not the sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here's how the shit works. Whitney Houston did the movie. Made all that money on that song. 
Which one? Bodyguard. Yeah. Bodyguard song? Yeah. The Dolly Parton song. I always Dolly Parton. Oh, make more money on that motherfucking song than she did with the movie. Right. And that song had been played. Didn't make no money. The song was 28 years old right. when she sang it. School, my mother, a report called would go home, she would reach it as a good boy. That's all she could say, I didn't do nothing now. Sit there and play cards. Second way, coon clap. She all she said, she couldn't give me no break. Reach it as a good boy. I didn't know nothing about me and dressing like women. Until I'm eight years old, running through the street, this fine bitch, man. <laughs> Come through, me and my man stop and talk. He said, he's so cute. I want to go with me tomorrow night. I said, yeah. When I double cross came out, I said, eight o'clock tonight, pick me up. Mm -hmm. <gasps> me and my man, we talking about getting something with him. Mm -hmm. So I said, nah. <laughs> I let that bitch be walking for us. <laughs> I'm laying back and I can't believe I'm gonna give me some pussy I never had no pussy in my life. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> so I got a car, we parked and I'm laying back in her lap. And then they said, what you do if I told you I was a man? Oh, I reached up and grabbed the hand that wig come you know what it's like to lay in what you thought was a fine bitch lap with no hair. And then you see that man, I broke my arm getting out the car. I forgot she was open. You know? <laughs> I'm running home, man, crying, and the bone didn't come through with the bone. Is well, I'm going to tell my mother. So I told her I slipped. Mm -hmm. Anytime I had sex after with a woman after I pulled that bitch's hair, uh -oh. make sure that shit didn't come out. I'm going to have two of them. Right, right. I'm going to have two of them in a lifetime. And so that's. Uh, Mm. But she also had to be happy to transfer the vicious stuff into the spirit, the kindness, the mm. niceness, you know. And you said to me, just look up at the star. Look at the moon. Look at the tree. And I went on a 180 day fast. The first 40 days was taking nothing. Mm -hmm. But I'd get up every morning, go hug a tree, and I'm going to transfer the energy in the room. Wow. See how it works? See how it works? So, when you look at it, you, you drove a cab, and every Thursday you went out and picked up old folks to take them to the hospital, that comes back from the universe. Mm -hmm. I remember that damn tree fell on my car. I saw it. <sighs> Jumped over, laid on the other side, and that tree hit that car. Cops coming up. Somebody talking to a friend of mine. Dick, that you? Oh, wow, let me make this call. To put a cold in. Ain't you no know, life in this motherfucker. So he wanted to take him to the wagon. To the to, uh, mm -hmm. He got to somebody laughing and talking. You have to go to the hospital because you got good insurance. They'll say Stevie wanted to call crying. Oh. They said, Dad, to call you. Look at the call, can nobody live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next day I woke up with a ticket and called to the, the, the city junkyard. Mm -hmm. And I said, Man, we're waiting to see you, man. I said, I've been here 40 years. He's been here 30. We ain't never seen a car coming like that and somebody laughed. Mm -hmm. like, That's the universe. Just don't worry about it. Come on. If you ever been trying, man, just fuck me up. And you go to see it, and you open up your eyes, mm. and the car was straight. While you sleep, the car came right. It's when you jerk. Uh, huh? Okay. <laughs> well, it's over. Okay. I'd be sleep as a mother. I'm talking to you on the day, but baby, I'm going to drive home and give me some sleep. She thought I was talking about when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady, she's so naive. I come home one time about a week after this man, five o'clock in the morning, and you don't know this because you're not a man. You could just drop our pants and step out of them. She said, Greg, where are you going so early? 
The time you married your mother didn't know you was there. That bitch don't care nothing about you. Mm. <laughs> you know, you her. So I had to lie to go down the garage sleep in the car all day. <laughs> that's, that's the whole kindness of this. Let me tell you this story because it really messed me up. My second daughter and her partner went to school together. Finished college and they bought them a limousine. Because if you want to see some hard shit, you can go to the limousines. They don't care, that's why. And they created the poor and poorest. It's rich white folks. Mm -hmm. Food they have a bed, shower, cook food. Mm -hmm. But that thing is invisible. That's what the invisible man is. Ninety-nine percent of them niggas died million ass because they had to shit to wipe. But they knew where the games was going to be tricked. They knew where the stock market was going to be confused. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They were. Hundred percent of their children finished college. Mm -hmm. you know, listening. And then going back. So one day, these rich folk from the other side of the pond, they thought that my daughter was ready to pop found him some young booty. Mm. And they know he was gonna kill her. So she told her daughter, said, when you and the man go back to every week when y'all come down, I'll give y'all ten thousand dollars to put in the bank there. So when the shit come down, that's the money. So they take it, they nervous. Cash. So they stop in Connecticut and some rest of them. And they eat, they get home two hours later and found out they left the bag of money. Mm. <laughs> That's what honesty will do. Mm. She get on the phone and she don't know the name of the restaurant. She called the police. Said, I know this sounds crazy, but me and my friend, we left $10,000. Oh, she paid in a brown bag to the cops. Oh, so we got it. Mm. All my life, I thought you turned shit over to the police. They'd keep it. Somebody found it and turned it over. Mm. They went and picked it up. Mm. And I said, now stop there. Let's go back. You left the bag of money. I found it, no address on the phone. Yep. God, if we'd have, that's the money you yep. want, so your mother could have a robbery. The bitch died. I get prosecuted for that shit in the universe. Hmm? You're supposed to turn it in, nigga. Mm. And if it ain't picked up at X amount of days, then you can come and claim it. Right. You buy hot clothes, me and him steal the shit. And then one day he get killed, we kill the motherfucker. You go to jail for murder, the big jail. Because wow. if you wasn't buying it, they wouldn't be stealing it. See how it works? Simple. It's a bank up there. And everything you do, pass down the nine generations of your genes. Hmm. If I'm your daddy, I die. And the house is paid for, you and your brothers get it for free. If I die in the house ain't paying, you gonna pay off that note, bitch, you get the fuck out of here. Hmm. That's where the universe works. Nine generations. Okay. So that's how it, that's how it works. If I hit you there and break your finger, I got nine of them coming. And if you hit me back, I got nine, now you got ten. See how shit works? You gonna pay these dude. Dang. You gonna mm -hmm. pay for it. See how it works. Mm -hmm. See how it works. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, the, the, the court jest. We lie, baby. So he made the clock for the king. Got some free birthday, boss. Mm -hmm. Sundown. So you just look at it. Queen's a lady mad because she's jealous of this one. She can get his attention. Mm -hmm. So, he sure had a clock. She built it. Only person on the planet got a clock. Sundown. So 
Okay. Since I can't tell you nothing about him. When you see him today, you ask him to look at that clock and do me a favor. Put something on that and look at